Oh, happy Friday. I got to give y'all a special one on this beautiful Friday, y'all. Beautiful people around the world. My beautiful patriots. I hope everybody is blessed, well, healthy, and that nothing but the best is going on in all you beautiful people's life, man. Oh, boy. This one's going to be good, man. And this is my first time seeing it, so it feels good to go back in time. You know what I'm saying? That's, what, that's the best part about it. It's a blessing that we have these platforms to go back in time, man. You know what I'm saying? To revisit greatness, good times, good vibes, good energies, just to go back in time to just retake it in. And then for some of us, it's your first time seeing it, or and it's most definitely my first time seeing it. That's why I'm making the video. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm for real, I'm just being honest. This is my first time seeing it, but shout out to Brian. At Political Broad, he does an amazing job. Link to his channel will be linked in the description box down below. Y'all go show him some love. But man, veterans take action when woke nut job tries to interrupt Trump rally. Oh, brother. And y'all know Trump loves the vets, man. And, we, and the vets love him. And we, we love our vets, man. Salute to our veterans out there. The ones that made the ultimate sacrifice. The ones that put their life on the line. The ones that didn't know what was going to happen, but they went out and did what it do. Amen. I love y'all, man. And I'm wishing the best in all you guys' life, man. We have tons of veterans, tons of soldiers, first responders, law enforcement on the channel. You know, people that are disabled with disability you know they have disabilities they suffer from either ptsd anxiety depression even suicidal thoughts you guys sorry if i'm sounding a little scramble my words are everywhere but I'm, I'm being for real when i talk about this you know these situations and people are really going through something you know, you just never know what they're going through you never know what they've battled what they've been through what they've seen what they've done so we salute to our veterans, man, the ones who make the ultimate sacrifice, to the ones who are putting their life on the line every single day on a daily basis as we speak of right now. Yes, indeed. But hey, let's jump right into this. I can't wait. Happy Friday, y'all. And um, uh, it's veterans take out the trash when woke protesters tries to run. <laughs> this is going to be good, man. I knew I had to. I had to uh, start Friday off with some kind of banger, and um, I'm glad this came up in my uh, videos to do list to check out. So this was on my check to check out list because um, I've seen a couple people request this in the past, and we do have a lot of other tons of other videos that we're gonna be checking out that you guys have been sending over. So thank y'all for sending me amazing emails, comments, DMs kind donations all the love and support man i really do appreciate y'all from the bottom of my heart but without further ado let's jump straight in and let's see what happened so again i have not seen this before let's check it out and welcome to politibrawl my name is brian and trump is spitting absolute facts while up on stage that is until one of his own supporters talks a better game than he does Oh. All right, thank you. Who is that person that stood? That was so great. Who's the person that did that? St put up your hand. Put up your hand. I want to come on. Bring that person up here. I love them. Oh, man. Come on up here. Come here. Come here. So amazing. Oh, she has two middle fingers up. Oh, oh yeah, get her out, get her out, get her, get her out. Put her in handcuffs. <laughs> That's class. Isn't that terrible? <laughs> See, that's what we're all fighting for, that. Isn't that terrible? <laughs> I love how Trump responds. Isn't that terrible? Like, he's just so straightforward. Isn't that terrible? You know what I'm saying? And he's not afraid to call you out. That's one thing we love about our president, man. He's not afraid to call you out. Yeah, get her out of there. Get her out of there. And you know what? The press will put that out. Look, see, the cameras now are moving because that's the only way they ever see the crowd. <laughs> Isn't 
isn't that, isn't that terrible? Uh, and to me, now they won't say that. If I say, oh hell, they say, oh Trump used a horrible word. That person does that with their hands and fingers and they won't report that. And they won't Ooh. report that. Trump, Trump, hey, Trump tell, hey, he not lying, man. He not lying, bro. Oh, man. Oh. Of course, they're not going to show that. It goes against their narrative. See, mainstream media outlets will never, ever show either, well, at least they'll never show the ridiculousness and violent acts of left-wing protesters. They're not going to go go out there out of their way to show Antifa going absolutely crazy. But they will show the really cringy ones that had those terrible chants, bad hair, uh, probably don't use deodorant because they think it's patriarchy. The media won't show that. But Donald Trump forces them to at least take a look at it. Yep. Y'all see what he they what they did when he said bloodbath uh, a couple weeks ago. Come on now. Mainstream media must be stopped. <laughs> it's disgusting. It's the disgusting. other side must be stopped. It's unbelievable how they how they do our mans, man. It is unbelievable how they do our mans, man. It's 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 sad. It's sickening. It is so disgusting. And I'll tell you what, the press should be they should be ashamed of themselves. I want to see Oh, they should be ashamed of themselves. Disgraceful. <laughs> Disgraceful. Who is the person, though? Raise your hand. Who's the person that took action over there? Come here. Come here. Come here. He, he's Bring a... him up, too. Come here. not let them intimidate you you back this man right here to the hill they will say anything they will do anything hell yeah to keep in power okay well once again he's absolutely right and th this isn't donald trump speaking this is just some random joe pulled from the crowd who was responsible for stopping this uh, rioter in the first place and his point's very simple. The mainstream media will do anything to hold on to their power. Hmm. And it's not just for money. They know that for the first time in decades, the left now has a major foothold, or in my opinion, a stranglehold on the American media system and the people. And the moment it gets exposed, they start squirming. And they're about to start squirming like a can of worms for what happens next. Oh boy. We don't need who we've got in there now. You're the best we got by far. He's a great public speaker, this guy. <laughs> I got two tours of Iraq. I'm a Richmond County deputy. Salute. Love to our vets, man. Love to our vets. When I heard those words, man, I you can I got chills. Cause I get emails every single day, man, from my veterans, man, that showed me so much love. Not even on this this channel, but my other channel. And if y'all watch my other channel, you know we've done tons of videos for our veterans, people that have been through, you know, crazy situations. Um, our first responders, we've read all kind of emails out loud. Y'all have shared me the most stuff that you don't want to go through in a lifetime has been shared with me in text, literally typed out, sent to me what they've been through, what they've seen. You know, I'm so serious, you guys. From shitting in bags to seeing blood on the wall. 
I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go any farther than that because I don't want to get in trouble. But y'all have shared with me. My veterans have shared with me so much, man. I love y'all, man. Salute to the ones who made the ultimate sacrifice, man. Yes, indeed. Police, everything you talk about, Mr. Trump, I can promise you right now, my department and the departments around me, we need you. Hmm. This whole thing should be about how Trump inspires people. How Trump inspires the ridiculous hate of the left, the envy that the left is based on. But no, that's not what this is really about. The whole common theme this whole time, strangely enough, is not about Antifa. It's not about these terrible protesters. No, no, no. It is about the mainstream media's attempt to hide the truth, to ship the truth off screen, and they show you something else by waving a little bell and hoping that you'll come running like Pavlov's dogs. Fortunately, the majority of people that watch this channel aren't like that. They know that the mainstream media isn't offering red meat, it's offering dog food and hoping that a human's gonna eat it. It's absolutely ridiculous. The lack of transparency, the lack of, of full reporting, the pushing of bad headlines and bad narratives without reporting the whole truth, and you know, only showing one side of the story yeah. while trying to make the other side look as bad as possible. So in this case, Donald Trump, the, the way he speaks, uh, he gets up, calls out the protester, but switches gears just slightly in order to shift the attention from the rioter to how the mainstream media is going to view it. This is a brilliant tactic that does nothing but trigger liberals, and I'm all here for it. <clears throat> and if you want to trigger leftists in your life, yeah, go over to my friends at basebuy.shop, link in the description below, and show the world how conservative you really are. So, after shifting gears, Trump talks about the media, and then almost immediately, the two guys that were responsible of stopping the rioter before security escorted them out, came up and told the exact same thing that Trump was trying to tell the people. They know this already. Hmm. So we're not looking for Trump to educate us. We're looking for validation. We're looking for the validation of the feelings that say, hey, we've been ignored for so long, someone's got to start listening to us. And Trump encapsulates that to a T. To a T. And that's why these people support him like they do. And I don't blame them one bit because the mainstream media has ignored them. They try to appeal to rich white liberals instead of appealing to the truth and to the news. It is a very sad state in this country. Hmm. Folks, my name is Brian. Hope you enjoyed. Shout out to Brian, you guys. What a beautiful video and what a way to start off Friday, you guys. Happy Friday. God bless all you beautiful people. And man, I'm just glad I got to check this out for the first time, man. So glad. 2024 is our year, y'all. And again, we encourage everybody to go out and vote and be ready for this huge journey because more nonsense is, 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 is coming. We're still covering all the nonsense, the, the discussing this stuff that's going on and the corruptness that's going on. We've been covering on the channel for quite a while now. And I'm bringing you guys updates every single day on... um on the recent stuff that's happening right now and all the Trump cases and everything. But I want y'all to know, man, 2024 is our year. I love y'all, man. Spread that love. You never know what somebody's going through. And I will catch you beautiful people in the next one. Peace and love, y'all.